Hi guys, it's Dizer Fred, and it's time for another Let's Play Legends of Lockeria Type 3DS. So last time around, we actually started our way into Ganon's Castle, and now we're going to do more things in Ganon's Castle. We're going to break some barriers. So, yeah, um, yeah, there we go. So those of you who don't know, I, I, ooh, ice. Um, I've actually been recording, like, I don't know, many, many episodes in a row. Ooh, I didn't get killed by that, because Din's fire! Ha. Oh, this is the part where I need to bottle stuff, right? Alright, I guess it's a nice time to use fairy. Alright, on some fairy. It's okay, I can get more later. But, um... Anyways, uh, yeah, I've, I've been recording, like, many episodes in a row. Like, the last episode I re Wow. The last episode, like, I recorded episode 46, 47, 48, and I think this is 49, so this is my fourth episode in a row. I'm probably going to finish Ganon's Castle by the time I finish recording, so that'll put me at six episodes. I don't think I've ever recorded that long, but, uh, here I go, I guess. Um, anyways, we gotta, we gotta do this thing here. Is that it? Oh, no, I have to do stuff here. What do I have to do? Uh, let's get out the hookshot to figure out what I need to do. Alright. Uh, no, I have to push that thing in. Okay. I think I have to do this. Uh. What? Ooh, hello. That's nice. Oh. Okay, so there's a thing up there. Can I fire arrow it? Try fire arrowing. Nope. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I, I think I know what I need to do. Uh, I need to somehow get to the top over there. So I need to actually get another thing of uh, blue ice. Or blue fire. Uh, anyways, um... Yeah, I've been recording a lot of episodes in a row just because I want to get this thing over with because I don't know. I just want to get this thing over with. <laughs> um, I've been waiting so long on the Scatula quest that it's been kind of obnoxious that I haven't been doing anything to play this game. So anyways, let's push it over here. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, okay. I want to push you over here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, just because I've been doing much on this, and uh, yeah, now now I finally have the time to record stuff, so I will do the recording of the stuff. Not much to do. Uh, let's see. Try here. I think I screwed up. Yeah, definitely screwed up. Definitely, definitely screwed up. All right, I'm just gonna fall down here to get everything reset. All right, I know what to do now. <laughs> Hopefully. So I gotta push this guy over here, so I can push this thing over here, so this thing will fall in the hole. And because that thing falls in the hole, I can put this over here, push it forward. You know, it's kind of weird, like this is more like an ice temple, not a water temple. And I can push this here. Oh, this is a fairy, right? Yeah, you're a fairy. Push this over here, and now we can move on forwards to do the thing that we need to do. I climb, and I climb again, and then I do this. Red ice can only be broken by a blue fire, didn't you know? Because opposites thing, because fire is orange. And... Oh, I need the megaton hammer for this. Boom. So rusted. All right. Now we can move on forward with this thing. Uh, put that away. Yeah, there you go. Ah, that was not too difficult. Now we must use the arrow thing. Come, Mr. Arrow. Jeez, I, I actually had more to talk about, like, in terms of what I was doing, but I totally forgot. Uh, my mind's not doing so well right now. Like, I'm just... I'm tired and I'm forgetting things. <laughs> Anyways, the water barrier is dispelled. Must hurry up. 
Princess Ruto said so. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's it's been kind of weird, like, what I've been doing. Like, I know I haven't been uploading a lot, but that's because, like, once February hit for me, like, I, I promised in, I think, January that I would, like, continue recording. But in, in February, uh, I actually hit a lot of, like, craziness, like, in terms of busyness. Like, uh, someone contracted me to do something for a film, and I was like, um, I kind of don't want to do this. And then after that, like, I had to do applications for scholarships, and I was like, um, I also kind of don't want to do this. And it ended up turning into a bunch of crazy stuff. So because of that, like, I wasn't able to record. And then after that, um, well, after the whole scholarship deal, like, I had to do stuff with, uh, what do you call it? Um, like, my thesis stuff, which uh, is going to be pretty crazy next year because I'm going to be doing some crazy thesis stuff. Um, oh, jeez, that is not good at all. Especially you, Mr. Fireface. That is ice. That was not good. Uh, yeah, Link controls really unwieldy on these things, which I'm kind of annoyed. Like, I kind of don't like. Ocarina of Time, like, um, I know a lot of people don't probably won't agree with me, but it's not... I don't think it aged very well in terms of a game. Like, it's pretty... feels pretty archaic and old. Oh, man. The tunic I was wearing... Give, me, give it back, man. Yeah, but I don't think it has aged very well. Like, definitely playing playing it on the 3DS like makes it feel a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I feel like it hasn't aged terribly well just because of the fact that um, I don't know. It just, just hasn't aged very well. I don't know what else to say. Can I not hit that? There we go. Oh man, that's gross. Uh oh did I do it I did something all right now wait how do I get how do I get back up there how do I get back up there oh I can hook shot I can totally hook shot right 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 do I get the uh the, the cool gauntlets now I want the cool gauntlets oh look at me walked around like a boss that swag ooh something good it's either a dungeon map which I don't think it is or it's the awesome gauntlets Please be the awesome gauntlets. Ah, I got the awesome gauntlets. I got more power. Doesn't that look cool on me? Totally looks cool on me. Uh, anyways, we gotta do a thing here. Hang on. Uh, we gotta examine the area first. Yeah, I've been like super, ooh. Aha. Yeah, it's been like super busy for me like ever since. And like, uh, then, then like when May came along, uh, I was kind of able to get some stuff, like, settled, but then I had to do something for this dude's thesis, because, like, his thesis was not doing so well, so I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta help this guy out, because, like, he's my pal. Um, so I helped him out, and we got everything done, so it was, like, super busy until, like, mid-May, and then I started an internship, and, uh, been busy since, and it's only until very recently that I've been unbusy. So now that I'm unbusy, I can uh, do more Let's Plays, which is super awesome. Yes, I want some more arrows. Is there magic in here? I need magic. There we go. Uh, yeah, I can do more Let's Plays and stuff. And I, I honestly really enjoy doing Let's Plays, but school's been really difficult. Um, but now that I'm like kind of working, I'm kind of falling into a routine. So now that I have a routine, I can kind of be like, hey, I can I find time here. That's the one thing really hard about school. Like You can't find a routine, and that's difficult. Yay, the shadow barrier has been dispelled. Please spell, please spell the princess. Please save the princess. So before we go ahead and save the princess, uh, now that we got the super awesome gauntlets, we can actually do something pretty neat. Um, this will aid us in the fight with Ganon later. But uh, you see all this purpley stuff? It's gone now because we don't want no purpley stuff. It's funny, I think a lot of Nintendo stuff, purple means evil, or like purple means like evil magic of some sort. Because if you think about it, uh, in Super Smash Brothers, uh, actually not, Super Smash Bros. is a bad example, but in Mario Galaxy, Bowser does purple things with magic. Ganon obviously has a lot of purple stuff with them in Super Smash Brothers. Well, I guess I'm using Super Smash, I don't know, Ganon has like purple magic, like purple, purple is like a dark magic color it's kind of weird kind of interesting how nintendo does that um mewtwo i don't think is evil but like he has purple stuff in super smash brothers i don't know 
Uh, but purple seems to be like very somewhat evil for some reason. Anyways, we gotta go over here. Uh, I think we, I went here earlier trying to lift this thing, but I forgot there was a second pair of gauntlet thing. Um, all you gotta do is go over here and lift it. Because now Link can bench press a mountain. I'm actually pretty certain he can bench press a mountain if he just threw that that far. Like, that's absurd. Like, I don't think I can even throw a basketball that far. That's that's at least, like, I don't know, 200 meters or something. That That's pretty dang far. Anyways, we gotta go over here and we can play the fairy, uh, the... This song. The fairy song. That's not the fairy song. So we play this song and we get a friend. A familiar friend. Or maybe not a friend. Maybe a figment of our nightmares when we were children. I'm sure this thing would have terrified me if I was a kid. But yeah, we get uh, Miss Fairy Lady here. <laughs> Welcome, I am the Fairy of Courage. I will grant your enhancement to your dis defensive power. Receive it now. So this is actually a really good power-up. Uh, you can actually, you know, play the game without it, but it's a pretty nifty power-up. It, yeah, it makes her hearts, like, super more robust. I think we take half damage. Which is really good for the amount of hearts we have. Yay, our defensive power is enhanced. With your enhanced defenses, damage to be inflicted on you will be reduced in half, or by half. Yep, I was right. Um, but yeah, she's like, hey, if you're tired, come back and heal, I guess. Alright, bye. Fully healed. Now let's head back to the castle and do our thing. But yeah, that's, that's a pretty nifty power-up. Uh, wow, you can see the disco bridge from here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a nifty power-up since I think my first playthrough of the Ocarina of Time, I didn't get it, and I actually missed one of the fairy fountains. Uh, I missed the one in Gerudo Valley. Uh, you can actually, like, the, the defensive one is actually your very last one to get. So I missed the one in Gerudo Valley, and I, for some reason on this run, I thought the one in Gerudo Valley gave you the defensive power, but it's really uh, the last fairy you find gets the defensive power to you. So kind of nifty. It's a really nifty power-up, to be honest. Like, it will help you fight stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and break another barrier here. Uh, I think we have two left. I think we got four. We got the shadow, we got the water, we got the spirit, got the, um, the other one. The shadow, yeah, the, the, sh the shadow, the spirit, the water, the um, grass forest. Anyways, we gotta go in here to the fire one. It's so hot, we can't stay in here for long. Okay, but we actually can stay in here for long because we have this thing. Now we're red. Uh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good either. Ooh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, gotta strategize how to do this. Gotta hop here, obviously. I gotta hop here. I'm gonna hop here. Well, maybe I have to do the hover boots. I feel like the hover boots will give me a better chance here. Uh, let's check it out. Because it's like I'm lighter, right? Yeah, totally gives me a better chance here. I think this is what you're supposed to do, actually. Alright. Still slippery. The, the weirdest thing about the hover boots, in my opinion, is like... You feel unstable because you're slippery, but if you slide off a, a ledge, it's it's not that big of a deal because... Um, wow. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal because, you know, it's like... Okay, that one's really sensitive, apparently. So I'm going to chuck this thing. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really not that big of a deal because... Uh, if you slide off the edge, you, you hover for a bit. Throw it! Yay! Oh, okay. I thought I was actually supposed to hover through that one, but... Guess not. Now we can get this one, and we get those two over there, and then we can be done with this. Hopefully be done with this. Ooh, you are Mr. Fire Skull. Don't want that. Alright, let's take this guy out. This guy's weird. I love how he gives so much magic, though. I feel like he gives a lot of magic. The best magic. Okay, we gotta we gotta get out of here because apparently that thing is so sensitive. Okay, good. I don't have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, the thing is like complete, like extremely sensitive to uh, to weight. It's like if a feather falls on it, it'll collapse. Pretty pretty nuts if you tell me. All right, 
Now we gotta get the hook shot. As you know, is my favorite power up. Or equipment. I guess it's not really a power up, is it? Uh, now we can go ahead and break Zeberia. Die, things. Alright, let's break the barrier. Yay. My favorite buddy, the Goron guy. The fire bearers are spelled. Hurry up, brother. <laughs> Joke's on him. I'm not his brother. I guess he never owned a mirror before. Alright, we got the fire barrier down now. Alright, so we have one more barrier left, which we will leave for the next episode, and that's the spirit barrier. Uh, so anyways, this time around we got past the barriers. We also got our amazing defensive upgrade from the fairy fountain, and now we're like, almost, not really, but like, we can take more damage, more invulnerable. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I was trying to say we're slightly more invulnerable, I guess. Um, but yeah. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you guys on the next one.